हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज चरण लेट्स कंटिन्यू द जावा स्क्रिप्ट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज नाउ इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू गेट द करेंसी सिंबल ऑफ द सेलेक्टेड कंट्री करेंसी नेम इन अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द ट्यूटोरियल एंड हियर वी गॉट द फाइनल आउटपुट ऑफ आवर एप्लीकेशन Now is how to get the currency symbol of the selected currency name. Below that we got the JavaScript tutorials. Now when I select dollar, click. Now is here the currency symbol is dollar. If I select currency name pound, when I click here we got the pound symbol. If I click rupee, I'll get the rupee symbol here. If I click n, here we got the n symbol here. If you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates For this video tutorial I'm using Visual Studio Code First let's add one new text file and I'm selecting the language I want to write in the HTML HTML code So first let's save this file I'm saving this file on my desktop JavaScript tutorials the file name is currency symbol sym and sym is the file name and extension is the html page let's save this file after i save this file now i'm adding the head html html now inside this html i have headed section and body section Now in this body section, I'm adding the center element. In the center element, I'm adding h2, h2 tag. How to get the? How to find or get? How to get? How to get the currency symbols? Currency symbol. Well, of the selected, of the selected currency name. Currency name. using the javascript javascript tutorials and after that i'm adding one horizontal line now after the horizontal line i am adding one select element in this select element will have options which contains the uh, values the items top list top list items first i am adding the rupee option let's copy this option for file for this demo purpose i am adding only five currency names rupee dollar euro pound and yens now after that in the option i am adding the value here in this option let's add the single quotes here not double quotes single quotes add the single quotes the currency symbol the currency symbol is symbol is for every currency symbol we have a html code which we will get if you browse Uh, if you google it you will find different kinds of currency symbols in html code for indian rupee the currency symbol is ampersand hash 8377 semicolon this is for the indian currency now let's copy this one value and the currency symbol for n is ampersand hash 165 just for the time saving i have copied all these uh, html codes so you can find easily if you, the html element html codes for the every currency symbol currency name now after adding this values now i require one button control button let's add one click after that i'm adding one horizontal line inside this after the horizontal line i want to display the currency symbol 
of the selected currency name. So here I require one ID is equals to currency symbol. Symbol is the ID. Now here in the header section, we will get the JavaScript code. For example, before adding the JavaScript code, now let's run this application, how it looks the designing part. And here we got the output of our application. At this moment, we have added only the labels, drop down list and one button control. If a user clicks the rupee and I click the button control, I want to get the rupee symbol. If a user clicks a dollar, I want to get the dollar symbol like that. For that, I'm using the JavaScript. Now, switch over to a coding part. Here, I'm adding one another option. Another option for select. Select is a select name um, for this select option element. Now, let's write the JavaScript code. First, let's stop debugging script type is equals to type is equals to text forward slash javascript javascript now inside the script i am adding one function function get currency get currency get currency there is a function name now here currency name curve name is equals to document dot get uh, selected get select query selector and query selector id is equals to query selector what here country name uh, currency name currency name we need to add here between double quotes i am adding my select id name and here prefix I'm adding hash if I add hash here the selector name the element name is ID for ID we will add hash if it's a class here instead of ID if it's a class we'll add dot here that's it query selector after that I'm declaring one variable x is equal to car name dot selected Card name dot value, card name dot value. The value I am selecting of this uh, select element. Now that value we ha I am saving this x variable, and that x variable I want to display in this h1. So here I am adding inner stm. I am adding document dot let's add the document dot document dot query selector query selector between double quotes hash i'm adding the h1 tag doc text content text content is equals to the x that's it that's it we have done the coding part now the final step we need to add this function name to this button control on click is equals to i am adding this function name that's it i hope we've done the, everything correct let's save this file we'll check the output run start debugging and here we got the final output of our application Notice how to get the currency symbol of the selected currency name. Below that, we got the JavaScript tutorials. Now, when I select dollar, click. Notice here the currency symbol is dollar. If I select currency name pound, when I click here, we got the pound symbol. If I click rupee, I'll get the rupee symbol here. If I click N, here we got the N symbol here. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to get the currency symbol of the selected country uh, currency name using a JavaScript tutorials. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We'll catch you in my next video tutorial.